right to remain silent. And if you have the right to remain silent, anything say again, it be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to be the custom attorney, you have the thing, et cetera, et cetera. That's it. <laughs> Over. I'm getting pulled over by the compass, man. By the compass, man. The compass. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Who'd you think I was pointing at? Pointing? I just saw the lights come on. Yeah, when I stopped in the road and moved over in your lane and I pointed for you to pull over, who'd you think I was pointing at? Oh, I don't I guess that car that was swerving, that's why I went around him. Okay, that's why no, I that car him. was going 62. More like 42. The, yeah. the guy behind the truck, he was, he was okay, swerving. But I your speed at 80. Wrong. And I pulled over in your lane with blue lights on and told you to pull over. You knew exactly who I was talking about. I have nothing but respect and admiration for the hardworking men and women of law enforcement, but this guy, when he tells me what I'm thinking, you knew exactly who I was talking about. Oh, okay, that tactic's not gonna work on me, sir. But I had to come and chase you down. Why, I was why looking for that? a place to pull over. There was no place over there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of places to pull over. There weren't any places to pull over. Can I see your license? Yeah. Card? The answer to this question is always yes. Where are you headed to today? Oh, I'm just heading to Memphis to teach people how to fly a drone around a monorail. I'm going to Memphis. Okay. Are you running late? No, no, okay. I'm in no hurry at all. Okay, can I see your uh, registration and your insurance for your vehicle? Yeah. I tried doing that thing where you accidentally wrap a $100 bill around your driver's license, but he wasn't having it. I didn't do that. Don't do that. Do you have a pretty good record on your license? Yes, yeah, I, I, yes, absolutely. Okay. That is absolutely true. I haven't had a speeding ticket despite having a sports car and a fast sports motorcycle since before I had gray hair. All right, hang on one sec, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so do you think he'll give me a ticket? That's the question. I think he will. Why? Because I have tattoos. Yeah, older officers like this guy, they associate tattoos with prisoners. They probably think I got my tattoos from a cassette motor and a big pen in the Hooskow. When I run your tag, it shows that it's expired. I also noticed you have a tail light out. Oh. Well, I had another car that's exactly like this. I'm not sure whether this, it could be that this is, can I open the door? Sure. Uh, it could be that, I mean, it, I, I, I almost died from a drunk driver. Okay. Uh, I'm just recovering from a broken back. That's why I got in front of that guy because he went over the double yellow line. Okay. I wanted to put him behind me. I got so I, I got the same exact car. So the VIN, is the VIN the same that's on here? Let's see. If, if this is a different VIN, then I have the wrong one of these. In fact, I did have the wrong one of these. I was carrying the registration with the VIN number from my old wrecked car, the silver one. So I had to remedy that in the next couple days. If you'll do this driving school thing, they will dismiss your ticket for you completely, okay? All you gotta do is call that number and they'll give you a time and date to set through it. You set through it, it's real informal. You set through that and they dismiss everything for you, okay? Okay, what if I take it to court? If you take it to court- Because I, I have a dash cam that can prove that that guy was swerving and I went around him. Well, I understand that and, and that's perfectly fine if you wanna do that. Uh, but at the same time, what I do when I see somebody passing, I won't check the traffic that you're passing. If they're going super slow, then yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's passing. that's why I passed. But them. he was going 62. The traffic in front of you. Well, I'll have to disagree on that. Well, I have to disagree on that. Well, I understand. But like I said, I, you know, you've got, you got. If you want to come to court, that's fine. Here's your court date. It's the 13th of June at nine o'clock. Okay. All right. Where is that? It's in Huntington at the courthouse, right? Oh, downtown. okay. I've never been in there. This will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be fun, Ken. How long is it's it? It's probably about three, four hours, something like that. They have it in the late afternoon oh. at the Civic Center. But like I said, you can do either one. If you want to come to court, that's your court date right there. It's in June the 13th. All right. If you want to do this, you just follow those instructions right there, okay? Okay. Okay. I appreciate you cooperating, Yeah, sir. sure. Take care, okay? Thanks. And there's yet another reason to have a dash cam in your car in case of situations like this. I wonder if I can YouTube in court. Probably not. Just so you know, you absolutely can't bring any recording equipment into court. And as far as being pulled over, 
just cooperate. Show where your hands are, especially at night. Don't make any sudden movements. Be polite and know that these are very hard-working men and women who put themselves in danger to protect us. Once in a while, you'll get a Buford T. Justice like this guy who thinks he can tell you what you're thinking. But I'm not too worried about it. As you can see here, the silver car was clearly swerving. So I know I'm in the right. So I'll have my day in court and I'll keep you updated as to what happens. Until next time, here comes Betty. Yeah. Yes, Betty. We're on YouTube right now. Hi. You want to say buh and bye? Bye. <laughs> no, no, it's buh and bye. Buh and bye. Yeah!